Someone shot in Greensboro is in critical condition right now. Police say it happened at a gas station on East Market Street this afternoon. The scene cleared about 15 minutes ago. The person who was shot is a male, but that's all we're being told right now. We'll bring you more details just as soon as we get them. Well, this is the second shooting in as many days in Greensboro. Yesterday, someone shot and killed Nathaniel Pace. Officers found him early in the morning on Spring Garden Street. A second victim in the shooting is in critical condition. Detectives say they haven't made any arrests. Two people are charged in a highway chase and crash involving for South County deputies. Alexander Brown and Kadeem Featherston are from Charlotte. They're both facing several charges, including possession of a weapon of mass destruction and possession of a firearm by a felon. Deputies say they found marijuana, meth, cocaine, a stolen firearm, and more than $500 in cash in their car. This time yesterday, part of Highway 52 at Clemensville Road was shut down. Deputies say they tried to pull Brown over, but he took off. Deputies chased that car until they say Brown rammed a deputy's vehicle. A second patrol vehicle and three other cars were also involved in the crash. A deputy was hurt, but is expected to recover. A canine was also in one of the patrol vehicles, but was not hurt. Across the country, we continue to see dangerous spikes in viral transmission. We are not in dire straits like some around us. We have reason to be concerned, though. We are heading into a holiday weekend, and Dr. Mandy Cohen says the coronavirus numbers and trends aren't where she hoped they'd be at this point. Another 1,629 people in North Carolina have come down with the virus. It's been nearly four months since the state's first case was reported. Since then, more than 68,000 people have tested positive. Today, the state set a record for the number of tests in a single day, but the percentage of positive tests is still high. It's about 8% right now. The state wants that number closer to 5%. The latest data shows young people accounting for an increasing number of the state's COVID-19 cases. Dr. Cohen says people ages 18 to 49 want to get out and socialize more. And if they get infected, she says their symptoms are usually mild. She says she knows many people will want to get together for the holiday weekend. But she's asking everyone, especially these younger people, to be careful particularly those that are younger who may say like, eh, I can, I can beat that COVID thing. Well, you may be able to beat it, but maybe your older neighbor, that friend uh, down the street, someone at your church, someone who you may not even know, but at a grocery store, maybe they have chronic conditions, are older, um, they work in a long-term care setting. We all need to make sure that we are taking care of each other as we go into this July 4th. Additionally, Dr. Cohen says everyone needs to be wearing a face mask, wait six feet apart, and wash their hands frequently. Summer workouts are being postponed in a local school district. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools Back to School Athletics Committee decided to push it back two weeks to July 20th. The original plan would start to Monday. The group says this decision comes out of an extreme amount of caution. 